so he couldn't, you know, he didn't, he didn't make it to church. And, and he was a believer that you didn't have to go to church. And he said that when we started going to church, my mother and I, and I with my family, he, he encouraged me to do that. He said, that's beautiful for me. That's great. You know, it's good to be around people like that. Um, it's not for me, but he lived, he lived um, what he preached. Amen. And, um, like I said, I lost him at 12, and then, then you know, you kind of lose a little bit of that connection. I never lost the connection with him, but, but with the with the word. Um, and then I was, you know, I had my church experience, which was really it was it was um, not good for my spiritual growth. I, I saw a lot of hypocrisy, and I saw a lot of uh, gossiping and negativity and things that I just it didn't make sense to me. And you're really young, and you can't put two and two together. Like it doesn't make sense. All I know is it doesn't make sense, right? So then. You're lucky enough to start soccer and you don't have to really go on Sundays anymore. <laughs> <laughs> then you leave the house at 18 and you go on your own spiritual journey. And, you know, you stumble across, you know, the universe is yours. And the <laughs> universe has your back and you can manifest anything you want. Mm -hmm. And, you know, then it starts to become real egotistical. And then what happens is, for me, what happened was, you're responsible for your job, you're responsible for your this, you're responsible for that, you're responsible for manifesting this, and you can get tired. Yeah. You know, people let you down, you're letting yourself down, nothing is good enough, and you know, you, you strive, you get all this money, you make money, you lose money, you, and it's just, it's exhausting. And then you give up, and then you lose yourself, and then, you know, you reconnect with people that have continued on their own spiritual journey, and then you see what Christ has actually done in their life and then you remember what what the, he did for your father and it was a very short amount of time since I reopened um, myself to the Lord this is he was always there but like Randy says a gentleman like just hello you know he's not going to chase me but he's always there raising hand on my shoulder and I thought it was my father but it was the father amen and um today's my father's birthday Aww. so i struggled with doing it today because i didn't want it to be about him and then i realized he can't be here physically and that i have all the people that have been a part of it so he's here in spirit and i'm really grateful for Mandy and David said it was going to be really cold, you know, you really should have done it in July when it's hot. I was like, no, then I'll just do it next July, you know, and they're like, okay, never mind. <laughs> so, um, I really, uh, today, this morning, you guys all just really changed my heart. And, um, very quickly, and I'll be done. Um, the word submissive is always a real, I had a real aversion to the word, and, and, um, Second, I just had this like not auditory, but this feeling in my heart like just give it to me, just give it all to me because like I said, I was like exhausted. I was just done. I was done with people. I was done with myself. I was done with everything. And he just said, just give it to me. Just see what happens. And I just submitted everything. And like this, the pressure, the anxiety, addiction, everything gone. And every day is a struggle with different things, but it's not a struggle. That makes any sense. So thank you guys so much. I really love, love my family. Aww. We love, love you too. <laughs> so I am honored to, uh, <coughs> to be the one. And we've had a lot of talk about the whole subject of baptism, what it, what it stands for, what it represents. Monica to share her faith with me and with many of you. And uh, you know, it's, it's, my, it's my position. She has an understanding of what it is to surrender her life to Christ and to ask him to come in and to change her. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you anyway because, because this is important. So if you accepted Jesus Christ into your heart, your personal Lord and Savior, is your desire to follow him rest of your days, the first step in uh, following the believer's baptism. Great. Well, 
Based on your profession of faith, it is my honor and my privilege 